what does this have to do with the gospel, people would say. And people have left this church, people continue to leave this church on this topic right now. They say this should not be talked about from the pulpit. What's this have to do with the gospel? Let me tell you what this has to do with the gospel. When my heart changes, now I want to expose the unfruitful works of darkness. Now I want to bring the light to all areas of life. Now I want to proclaim God's truth from the mountaintops. That's what it has to do with the gospel. See, it's not about politics. It's about honoring God. That's what we're called to do. And that's why I actually don't even use that word very often. Do you know what that word means? Governing or leading a group of people. Do you think God's word has anything to say about that? I will submit to you that it has quite a bit to say about that. And the question often comes up, but Shane, Jesus wouldn't run for office. Of course not. He is the office. He, of course not. Do you know that the government rests upon his shoulders? He will tread them with the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he will have a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Of course he's not going to run for office. He doesn't need three branches of government. He is the branch. He does. Hold on. I prayed all week, God, keep this tongue of fire restrained, because I'm pretty upset right now passionate not angry he doesn't need separation of powers he is the power so this idea that Jesus doesn't care he is a governing authority he is sovereign all governments sit underneath his control he is the ultimate government so you don't think he has concerns about what this government represents it makes no sense to me it's coming from men or women who are cowards or who are ignorant to what God's word says.